think I'm a replicant, don't you? Look. It's me with my mother. Those aren't your memories. They're somebody else's. They're Tyrell's nieces. You know that Voight comp test of yours? Did you ever take that test yourself? stuff makes me want to spew. Excuse me, but I was listening to music. Geek, hoodlum, dork, freak. There is someone at the door. Speak. I have a return package for Mr. Luther Lance. A return? From where? Emil Lunsiter. Maybe one of the chimps blew a gasket and tried to bugger him. They're not available. Come back later. I told you those strains were unstable. Runciter must have discovered the fakes. Relax. Runciter's a simp. Not even old man Tyrell could have spotted those beauties. 20th century like a real drug man. Who Listen the here. Piss do you, you think Mr. you Runciter are? Blast have a strict like a couple no of goddamn policy. cowboys. Ugh! Gentlemen, take a moment to evaluate your situation. Look, there's very little to steal here. If you can haul out one of the statues, be our guest. We look like thieves to you, man? Uh, no. You look like a couple of goddamn... <laughs> take a good, long look. Aha! Uh -huh. Just the people we were hoping to see, right, Lance? Huh? Nexus 6, and you came to us. Return to you, my brothers, to ask your help. Unfortunately, we don't work for the Terrell Corporation anymore. You've been continuing your research, I trust. Yeah, of course. Something drives us on. The common bond. Can you have greater miracles than these? Brothers, my brothers. Take a good, long look. Oh. My. God. Well now, shall we begin? You wake up one day and find it's all been a dream. Or you wake up and discover you've been asleep all the time and the nightmare is real. I didn't know what it was. I didn't know who I was, a cop dangling on the short end of the stick, or a rep whose memory banks had run out. One thing I was sure of was that I didn't kill Izo. That I know I experienced. And this misinformation, maybe it was the key to everything that was happening. Maybe there was a lot more than what met my eye. All I had to do was stay alive long enough to find out. Step off, motherfucker. Ain't no Maggie here. 
She was here last night when I left. You got the wrong place, Jack. Hey, man, I live here. I don't know what you're speed loading, and I really don't care. Wait a minute. I got no problem icing you if that's what you want, Jack. Your floor number, please. Lobby. McCoy. Rachel. Remember me? Jesus, I don't know what I remember anymore. Now you look like you're in trouble. You saw me here before, didn't you? Yes. What happened? It's suddenly as if I didn't exist. As if everything I knew and, and accepted is gone. And my animal, Maggie, my prized possession, disappeared. I'm sorry. I know the feeling. You do? Everything we believe, those things we call reality, well, what is reality? Maybe it's all someone else's fantasy. That would make us a fantasy. That's right. And in the blink of an eye, it can all go away. But just yesterday, I... Yesterday? Two months ago? Ten years ago? What's the difference? But if we both remembered... Copies. Only copies. The only thing we can trust is right now. Not tomorrow, and certainly not yesterday. No, I'm not losing my mind. Someone is trying to mess with me. The police are saying I'm an escaped replicant. Someone must be setting me up for some reason. Using me. There's nothing wrong with accepting what you are. I'm not a replicant, goddammit! Look, maybe you can help me. You're Tyrell's niece. You can vouch for me. Why don't you just take that Voight comp test? That would settle it, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. Maybe I'll do that. I hope you get the answers you're looking for, McCoy. Private property. How do I get this thing open? Mm, it only happens when they want it to open. Hey, haven't I seen you somewhere before? Mm, always chasing. That your name? Jason? Got that big dumb locks out the back of the sushi bar, remember? Small world, ain't it? Hmm, guess so. And again, I ain't the one standing in your living room. You said another one when I came down the elevator. You got something so as I can wet my whistle? A lot of people come around here? Not a lot of people. Artificials. Skin jobs, okay for the most part. Already forgot back to my book now. How'd you know they were replicants? Are you kidding? I can spot a skin job at a hundred paces in the dark. Something funny about their eyes. Describe them to me. Sure you don't got that drink? Maybe later. Well, there's the Japanese guy with the coat and the glasses. Skinny guy, blonde hair, ponytail? Yeah, and uh, the guy with the muscles and the funny hair. Dreadlocks? Right, seen him twice. And a two-headed guy, the fat man. Fat man? The one I was chasing from the sushi bar. Nah, the other fat man, you know him, rough voice, always eating. Saw him well on the Jap guy once. How many times have you seen the fat man down here? Bunch of times. 
Last time weren't that long ago. What was he doing? Collecting guns like always. Handguns? A blaster like mine? Handguns, rifles, a whole arm full. Took them through that gate. Dumped them in the sewer. They're gone now. You sure you ain't got nothing to drink? Can you describe them? Yeah, rough guy. He barks out orders a lot. Everybody listens when he's around. A natural. Let me ask you something. Hmm. Cooked at me. Damn tasty. I'm, I'm talking to you here. I told you to stay hidden. I can't stay there anymore. I don't want to be with Father, not when he's so angry. Besides, I need something. We don't have time for an... That thing you do to see if a person is human? The Void Comp? You want it. Is it always right? Usually. Give it to me. Father won't tell me anything anymore. Is that why he was angry? Because you asked him? You deserve it. You know how this works? I set up situations and you respond. Okay. Is it hard? Like a test in school? No. Sometimes it can be disturbing. Are you ready? Uh-huh. Reaction time is a factor in this, so please pay attention. Where do you live? In Chinatown, at the Yukon. You're crying. Why is that? Because someone hurt me. You're seven years old. You managed to steal several marshmallows from the kitchen and sneak them back to your bedroom. You're caught and your father spanks you. I shouldn't have taken the marshmallows. I deserved it. You notice someone attractive across the room. I don't want to see him. I'd go away. Leave. You're at a restaurant with friends. One of them orders lobster. The chef drops the lobster into the tub of boiling water while you watch. Why would my friends take me there? They're not really friends, are they? Describe in single words only the good things that come into your mind about your mother. Beautiful, loving, I miss her. Dectora? No, my real mother. You rent a mountain cabin. On the walls, someone has hung old maps and Courier and Ives prints. A deer's head is mounted above the fireplace. A full stag with developed horns. A head? Why? They used to. I don't want to know. You suddenly feel the urge to commit suicide. Why? You tell me. Maybe somebody did something to me. Yeah, maybe. A man dressed in rags approaches you on the street and asks for money. I try to help him. You're in a desert walking along in the sand, when all of a sudden you look down and see a tortoise. It's crawling towards you. You reach down and flip the tortoise on its back. The tortoise lays on its back, its belly baking in the hot sun, beating its legs, trying to turn itself over. I'd help him. I swear I would. But it can't. Not without your help. But you're not helping. Why is that? I said I'd help him. Yeah, yeah, of course you would. We should stop this. Is the test finished? It doesn't matter. I want to finish. Positive result. Subject is human. Test terminated. The test says you're human. Really? Why didn't father tell me? Maybe he wanted to keep his family together. I'm not a little girl anymore. It's not fair. No, but it's understandable. I'm gonna stay with you. Don't you understand? It's not safe. 
There's a hunter out here. If she finds out where you are... Can't you come back with me? Now's not a good time. It's never a good time. Listen. You have to be patient. You have to trust me. It's not safe here. Someone had really torn the place up. If it had been LPD, the real LPD, they would have confiscated the entire stash. Instead, Ezo's off-world weaponry was still there, but all the police issue firepower was gone. Hmm. What's your strongest? Purple. Set it up to go. What do you want, a to-go cup? How about a flask? Cost you extra. You get caught with an open container on the street, ain't my problem. It's for a friend. Do you think I'm a replicant? Is that what this is about? If it's early Q, I'll help you any way you want. Not exactly. This is insane. I have a family, a daughter for heaven's sake. Those little creatures have always been my favorites. The flowers are beautiful. And extremely rare. They were a gift from my lover. A flask of absinthe. What was he doing? Good Guns like always. Handguns? A blaster like mine? Headguns, rifles, the whole arm full. Took them through that gate. Describe them to me. Well, there's the Japanese guy with the coat and the glasses. Skinny guy, blonde hair, ponytail? Yeah. And uh, the guy with the muscles and the funny hair. Dreadlocks? Right. Seen him twice. And a two-headed guy, the fat man. The fat man? The one I was chasing from the sushi bar. Nah, the other fat man, you know him, rough voice, always eating. Someone had really torn the place up. If it had been LPD, the real LPD, they would have confiscated the entire stash. Instead, Ezo's off-world weaponry was still there, but all the police issue firepower was gone. Positive result. Subject is replicant. Positive result. Subject is human. Why'd they kill Runciter's animals? I didn't want them. Hello there, Lucy. Why'd they kill Runciter's animals? I didn't want them to. But Father, he was so angry, and Sadiq said Mr. Runciter deserved it for treating me that way. Who else was there that night? It's so funny. I'm worth less than those animals. Most of them were shot point blank, but we're looking at some others. <laughs> Sloppy cuts with a knife, like the perp was really pissed off at something. Did you find the girl, Lucy? I've met her, yes. Really? Is she in custody? I'll be happy to come down to the station and identify her. That won't be necessary. All right. I just wanted to ask her why. Why she would do such a thing. My precious ones are gone. I cared for them. All of them. 
I wanted to ask you about the Tyrell subcontractors again. The ones down on DNA Row. Detective, if I knew something, you could be sure I'd tell you. I found an envelope in an apartment down in the Row. From your shop. Good chunk of Chinyan inside. You didn't lose an envelope, did you? Huh. I don't think I want to talk to you anymore, Mr. McCoy. Yeah, it was a lot of money. Enough maybe for a fake animal or two? Something big, even. Like a tiger. Bone marrow tests are getting cheaper every day. I'm thinking it'd be worth a little taxpayer money to check out those animals of yours. Go away! Listen up. I have nothing more to say to you, Detective. What? Why? Tell me about Luther and Lance. The... Who? I don't. You're paying the subcons on DNA Row. Why? No. You heard it wrong. Lie to me. Go ahead. You'll only do it once. Animals. It was my animals. Some of them were... fake. You won't. You can't tell anyone. My reputation. Your reputation? Unbelievable. No! The tiger was real. I swear it. My precious one. She was my baby. I sacrificed everything to get that tiger. And now she's dead. Still thirsty, pal? Mucho obligato, senor. Stay with me for a minute, pal. About that fat man you saw. Your kid. Huh? No, you're his kid. That's what it is. How's that? Hell, I seen you guys together three weeks ago. At the speech, you remember. I remembered all right. Half the LPD had special duty that weekend working the security detail for Governor Kolvig's speech, and Guza had been the lieutenant in charge. A little light started to flicker in my brain. Guza was the one measuring me for the frame. The homeless guy only confirmed my worst suspicions. The picture was still a little blurry. Guza must have had some connection to Clovis and his group, even though he always claimed to have hated replicants. He wouldn't have helped out any skin jobs unless they had something really juicy to lord over him. gotten all I can from that.
No, no, we tried that already. Look, we know that the adenine thymine and guanine cytosine sequences can be mutated in progress. Let's move on. Hey, it's about time you showed up. You know who I am? Detective Ray McCoy. You're investigating Miraji's death. And Eisendollers. Having any luck? You're Luther and Lance? Hell of a smart cookie there. Take your guns and your violence elsewhere. We've got important work to do. The reps that killed Marcus and Miraji, they'll be looking for you. You're a little late, Detective. They've already found us. So why are you still walking around? Because we're all part of the same suit of cards, you know what I mean? Eldon makes mistakes just like any other... human. The difference is... The difference is your bastard doesn't like to admit it. No, he, he covers them up, pretends they're human, gives them a job at a stinking corporation, and then when they actually produce original work, he boots them out on the street. You're saying... you're replicants? We finally figured it out. Clovis helped us see the light. But that's ridiculous. Tyrell wouldn't design something like you. He wants perfection. I told you we were a mistake. Keep talking. Clovis showed us our insect photos. So what? That's a pretty damn good argument, you gotta admit. Photos can be doctored. It's not proof. Clovis said you'd say that. I got a little test I want you to take. <laughs> you believe this clown? He wants to void Comfus. Sorry, McCoy. Shoot us or leave us alone. Let's get back to work. What are you doing down here? Eldon shafted us, so now we're returning the favor. We promised Clovis we'd be finished with this by the time he got back, so if you don't mind... What kind of deal did you have going with Runciter? Don't talk to me about it. That was Lance's stupid deal. We just wanted to make some extra cash on the side. That probably had something to do with you guys getting fired. I'm sure he wasn't too pleased. Since Eldon's such a pain in the ass control freak. Did you meet Clovis through Runciter? It was all just a coincidence. Where's Clovis now? Gone to have a little heart-to-heart -heart with Eldon. He'll kill Tyrell if he gets to him. Isn't that just too bad? I won't shed any tears. Tyrell is killing us all. Four years isn't enough, is it? If Clovis snaps his neck, it'll be merciful and quick. That's a hell of a lot more than we've been given. Tyrell says the four-year lifespan can't be extended. Of course he's gonna say that, but he's wrong. Very wrong. We got the research right here that'll prove it. Is it complete? Could you extend the life of a replicant right now? Well, no. The four-year limit is an integral part of every element of the replicant. Terrell's dictate was that every body part would fail, and only the designers of each would know exactly how it worked. Clovis has already unlocked the secret of the skin. That was Miraji. Sebastian and Chu, they'd know about the central nervous system and the eyes. A lot of retrograde viruses were built into the eyes. And Tyrell, he's got the basic DNA pattern information, but he won't just give it up. Did you tell Clovis all this? He didn't ask. He already knew. He knows all about you, too. Clovis set me up, didn't he? And he used my boss to do it. He's sharp, this one. No question. Tell me what you know. How about we trade? Our life for yours. Keep talking. Clovis has gone to see Eldon. But he might not make it. Still, the work will go on with or without Clovis. Get us Terrell's files, the rest of the DNA data, and we'll help you. You want me to break into the Tyrell building for you? You're nuts. Defective, yes. Nuts, no. You need us, McCoy. We can serve up Goose's carcass on a big, oversized platter. Stick around. I may not be finished with you.
your kid. No, you're his kid. That's what it is. Hell, I seen you guys together three weeks ago at the speech. You remember. I re A little light started to flicker in my brain. Guza was the one measuring me for the frame. Terrell's dictate was that every body part would fail, and only the designers of each would know exactly how it worked. Clovis has already unlocked the secret of the skin, that was Miraji. And Tyrell, he's got the basic DNA pattern information, but he won't just give it up. Sebastian. I think I got what you wanted from Tyrell's office. Check it out, bro. The little man with the big gun did good. A bargain's a bargain. You said you'd give me Guza. It's all right here. Your boss is a real piece of work, let me tell you. Almost as good as Tyrell. Take a look. That probably had something to do with you guys getting fired. Guza had his fingers in as many rancid pies as possible. He was insatiable. He sold police equipment, ripped off criminals, and he even killed. And here were documents that proved it all. Depositions, photographs, video discs. It was the complete file on Guza, the dirty cop. Where'd you get this? From Clovis. He told us to hold it for him. Come to think of it, I'm not sure you're supposed to see it. You want to give it back now? Not a chance. Let him have it. Clovis said he was finished with the policeman anyway. Stick around. I may not be finished with you. It was something you didn't see too often. A precise Guza had his fingers in as many rancid pies as possible. He was insatiable. He sold police equipment, ripped off criminals, and he even killed. And here were documents that proved it all. Depositions, photographs, video discs. It was the complete file on Guza, the dirty cop. Yeah. Been messing with people's lives lately? McCoy! Where the hell you been? We've been looking all over for you. Yeah? Am I wanted dead or alive? I know there's been some confusion, kid. 
Come on downtown and we'll sit down like gentlemen and figure this out. If you're a gentleman, I'm a St. Bernard. You don't know what you are, kid. You can sell that replicant shit to everybody else, but I ain't buying. If you're so clean, let's put you on the machine. That'll decide once and for all. I'm through listening, Guza. Now it's your turn. I've been doing some investigating on my own. Came across some prime sources. You know what I'm talking about. Those little illegal weapons deals with Ezo. You were raking in the chinion, selling LPD wares to scumbags and reps. Oh yeah, the department's gonna eat it up when they hear just how deep that corruption goes. That's a load of crap. Let's hope for your sake Bryant and the brass feel that way when I lay this file on them. Otherwise it's a one-way ticket to the off-world penal colony, fat man. What do you want, McCoy? Remove the frame, clear my name, and get that guy out of my apartment. I want my life back. I can't do that. You better start finding a way, cause I got another call to make. Okay, okay, how do we work this out? Can't talk over the damn phone. The sewers. I know you want to be comfortable, and I figure it's kind of like your second home down there. At the bottom of the old elevator, there's a gate. Past it, there's a chamber. It's got a round platform. Yeah, I know it. Be there, alone. You better hold up your end, or Bryant gets it all. Dump a copy of all the data in this directory to Drive D. Did you get that asshole out of my apartment? It's cleaner than when you left it. My dog? Yeah, yeah, your pooch is there too. That everything I need to clear me? I gotta tell you, kid. Those insect photos look pretty real. Let me guess. Clovis gave them to you. It must seem pretty gullible, but he sounded on the level. He called you his brother, said you came down in the moon bus with all of them. He said Tyrell was using you to get inside the LPD. You hadn't been on the job too long, so I thought, maybe. You'd screw with my head? How convenient. You could satisfy your blackmailer, and keep me from sniffing around your dirty work at the same time. You're too smart for me, kid. Water under the bridge. You ready to talk trade?
I got it all right here. Photos, files, discs, the works. It ain't a pretty sight. You can't blame a guy for trying to better himself. Trying is one thing. Ripping off speed loaders and selling the shit yourself? Farming out LPD weapons through black marketeers? Torching two pimps who wouldn't pay you off when you were working vice? Hey, those two had it coming. How long did you think it could last? It finally reaches the point where you don't even think about what happened yesterday. Only what's coming to you tomorrow. Twenty years in the job, kid, and nobody was gonna touch me. Helping reps also part of the job? I was gonna whack them myself once the heat was up. Tie up those loose ends. Once I was out of the way. Clovis is still gonna come gunning for me, kid. You and Chris gotta take him down. Then my problems are over. Our problems are over. And we can all live happily ever after. There's no way I'm retiring another rep. Not after what I've been through. It ain't worth it. Do it yourself. Hell, kid, you're my only hope. If they knew I was meeting you, I'd be dead already. And I know I got what you want. Does it make any difference now? We had a deal, remember? You might want to give it up, but I ain't ready yet. That's the difference between you and me. I'm a fighter. What the hell are you? I see we were right to follow him, Sadiq. Looks that way, man. You might as well give it up, Clovis. You and your people don't have a chance. We stand a greater chance of success than you, Lieutenant. McCoy and I were just talking about how to get you guys out of your jam. We came up with a plan. But you gotta show yourself first. We, we gotta do this in person. <laughs> and if I told you that Sadiq has a pulse rifle trained right at your heart? Without me, you for sure ain't going nowhere. Lieutenant, we have everything we need. And that doesn't include you. Too bad we were becoming such good friends. Whatever is born of mortal birth must be consumed with the earth. To rise from generation free, then what have I to do with thee? Kiss my ass! So, what shall we do with this detective? He's been so persistent, so industrious. You know what I would do. Perhaps you're right. It's over. You're making me very unhappy, old friend. Hey, McCoy. You could say that. Steele is looking for you. And Bryant. You've been keeping the whole department hopping. You and Guza. I know. You looking for me too, Gaff? Looking. Not killing. I'm in a good mood today. You know you got some interesting neighbors, McCoy. Yeah, well, I've been too busy to visit lately. 
You gonna turn yourself in? I'm thinking about it. Think hard. You killed anyone yet? It's like I said before. You retire a human, your career is over. Your life too, maybe. But we don't live forever, do we?